I'm trolling. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, that's okay. the real part okay, about yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm I'm trolling, having fun. Okay. Right? okay. Uh, but they take you feel like they taking it well, serious. Well, in my in my mind, I'm the poor nigga who's not a celebrity, mm-hmm. fucking with celebrities. Yeah. Right. We all do it. Who's right. not celebrities? Mm-hmm. Right. Right. We all fuck with them. We all make fun of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, we we watch them. Soon as they do something wrong, we're gonna ridicule them. We're gonna criticize them and at sometimes we're even going to crucify the ass right, right they're right, celebrities right they can't hear me i'm the dog howling at the moon oh <laughs> <laughs> the moon can't hear me howling i'm right. down here yeah. on earth right. right so in my mind they the moon right they can't hear me in my mind okay when they start hearing me and responding i said checkmate <laughs> They go, but because because now they are allowing me to climb my yeah. way in. Right. Right. Really right. Right. By right. them acknowledging me, they are literally reaching down, picking me up, and putting me into their world. Mm-hmm. And that's right. what they did. So do you think it's a, a plight to make themselves continue to keep themselves relevant? No. No, no. no. If they because I'm, I'm looking at it like if they this could, is they like would some, silence me. Some WWE type shit. Uh, like it's a back and forth. Oh uh, no. Yeah. You know. I'm I'm the first black man. In America, who have publicly disrespected rappers, mm. I'm the first black man in America to openly and publicly disrespect the Crips and the Bloods. Mm. I disrespect killers, gangsters, gang bangers, and rappers who talk gangster. Okay, I don't bother nobody else, right? Because those are the elements and the tools of white supremacy, right? right. That's being used for mass incarceration, Mm -hmm. school to prison pipeline, absent father homes. So I understand what's being used against us and the number one greatest tool of white supremacy and and, and white racism is gangster rap. Mm. Gangs. Nobody. Can can you elaborate elaborate on Uh, that a little uh, bit? uh, Nothing. Because every, every... Everything about the hip hop culture and gangster rap is to promote the death and killing of black people and the disrespect of the black woman. Mm. Every song, every beat, every drum, every lyric is to disrespect, demean the black woman and promote the death and killing of the black male. Right. That's why you hear nothing but kill, nigga, die, nigga, shoot the block. That's why you hear nothing else. You don't hear I need love. You don't right. hear uh, keep your head up. You don't hear dear mama. That's why every young boy lyric is a detriment to another black male. Like listening to okay, I see your point. Yeah. But listening to like an NWA from back in the day. I mean, you listen to NWA as well as we I did. was a 11 year old kid listening to NWA with well, under- hell I was but, too. But listen, listen, yeah, listen yeah. Listen, sneaking and listening. Right, to that's it. right. Yeah. That's right. We I all couldn't, at I that couldn't point, no. openly listen to no, it. Yeah, I was listening to Luke, Too Short, NWA, Too Short. Listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah, yeah. So, I was listening to it and yeah. acting out the lyrics. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. okay. Gotcha. See, because I wanted to be gangster. Okay. Right? Like, it's some kids that want to be killer. Mm-hmm. I wanted to be gangster. And killing just came with being gangster. Yeah. These kids today, because of the lyrics, there's no median for gangsterism. Right. It's all kill. So do you feel like, okay, so in the past, in the past, like your past, what I've read in the past, you actually killed somebody, right? I didn't. I, 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 me and three of my buddies skipped school one day, and, and we went to the mall to steal some starter jackets. Okay. Starter jackets were real popular during right. the 90s. Oh, yeah. You, you're uh, talking our language. Yeah, yeah so. <laughs> in the process of us stealing some starter jackets, uh, running out of the mall, my 16-year-old friend shot and killed an innocent white man. Mm. He didn't try to kill him. Right. We didn't set out to kill nobody that day. Right. But we got ourselves in a situation where somebody ended up taking a life, mm. a life being taken. Like I know most kids aren't killers. Right. Most niggas aren't killers. They got in a situation where somebody ended up coming up dead because they made the wrong choice. That's why when they come home after 20 years, that's why when you see them in the interrogation room, they got tears in their eyes. That's why when the judge say rise, they all stand up and rise. Because they're not real killers. So I understand I was tricked as a kid because gangsterism, before gangsterism showed up, we was doing the kid and so play. So you're, blam- you're blaming... I'm not blaming nothing. I'm saying, brother, because of our culture, there's nothing positive about the okay. black culture. I got you. We don't promote right. and join in the spelling bee. 
Right. When and I was about to say kid and play. Well, but well, all of this stuff was all at the same time. It wasn't, brother. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, I well, mean, well, you're talking about the same era well, of well, hip hop. Well, well, kid and play, kid and play came a little bit before, yeah, before. NWA. Yeah, yeah, they, they, were. they were. Yeah, they were. were. Yeah, that we style were. of music. Yeah, yeah come on, homie. Yeah, we yeah. were, we was doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We was doing that. Yeah, we was doing all. Wasn't nobody dying in the music. Yeah. Well, right. nobody died in the music till it got to the gangster era That's of right. the Crips and the Bloods. That's right. But is there a situation where you feel like or think that, like, you know, an NWA is telling the story from the way their viewpoint, their point of view of the way they saw it, and that's how they laid down the lyrics? Nah. You know? We, 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 we would like to propagate that bullshit belief, but it wasn't, homie. Okay. There, there was, there was, they, they was... They was propagating gangsterism from the clothing that they wore. They wasn't telling the story. They were really beating up people. Dre was beating up women. So they were they was drinking. So they was teaching us how to get high. They was teaching us what a strawberry was. We didn't know what a strawberry was. We didn't mm. know that was a dope fiend who was half sell a body for crack. Yeah. We was kids listening to that. Yeah. So guess what? Sooner we get twenty dollars, guess what we were looking for? Strawberry. A strawberry. Yeah. Kids. So when we heard Luke, hey, we want some pussy. Yep. That's a rape song. Me and my homies like to play this game. Some call it Amtrak, but some um, call Luke it the train. train. Yeah. We all will line up in, in a single, single file line. line and take our time waxing girls behind every time it get to me. I was shit out of luck because I stick my dick in and it will get stuck. The girl will say stop. Listen to this part. Yeah. The girl will say stop. I say I'm not. So let me bring you to 30 years later. I gave the bitch a perk. I took her back to the spot. She didn't even understand me when I told her drop her panties. Mm. She didn't even understand me. When I told her drop her panties, that's 30 years later. Hmm. Same thing. Hmm. 